Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the brand new 2022 Hulu original film. I was going to say Hulu Plus original film. Hulu is not a plus. Uh, not okay. So this, this is a, this is a movie, and this is a conversation piece movie, because you're not supposed to like this movie <laughs> because of the plot, and it brings up conversations, right? So you have this main character played by Zoe Deutsch. Deutsch? 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 I think it's Deutsch. Um, she pretends to be a survivor of this terrorist bomb thing in Paris. Uh, and she gains notoriety from it, goes on rally tours and writes articles and all these different things, right? So she gets fame because of her fake trauma. And she creates a hashtag, I am not okay. And people are sharing their stories about trauma and things, right? We've seen a lot of that within different movements of late. And she bandwagons on this other survivor's notoriety, stardom, um, to get more likes for herself. Uh, the character of Rowan, the actress who played Rowan was incredible. And she is a, Rowan is a, a school survivor, school shooting survivor, her sister, died in the shooting she herself survived she's been you know the time is now change revolution stuff like that right so it's it's a it's a weird movie because you have this rich white girl pretending she's a victim and we see it a lot we, we see it a lot and you don't feel bad for the white girl who's playing victim of course there's real victims but when you play victim it doesn't end well and you get what you get and so to watch this play out in a you get what you get thing, it was an interesting ending of her looking to be absolved uh, from Rowan after, you know, outing herself after one of her coworkers figured it out. And uh, Rowan goes on a, on a, a speaking, she has a speaking presentation uh, at, at her high school and at her new high school and, you know, calls out this main character and then the main character just walks away as everybody else is applauding and that's the movie so it's a conversation piece because you're not supposed to like the main character and it's weird because it was very well done but I, i'm conflicted okay i only watch this movie because dylan o'brien's in it right dylan o'brien o'brien plays this character it's verified on instagram hundreds and hundreds of the hundreds of thousands of of you know subscribers to his various channels and so i only watched it because of him and i thought it was a comedy it's not a comedy it's a drama and then all of a sudden uh Karan sony pops up we know and love him uh, as depender from deadpool and deadpool 2 and he has this very minor character throughout the show and i'm like no 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 Karan Sony is an incredible actor. He deserves all the screen time. So I was very upset about that. And I was upset that Dylan was, was in like four scenes, if that. So I, I, I'm conflicted because it was very well done. But I had a comedy mindset and a Dylan O'Brien as a main character mindset going into this. So I did not get any of that. And I had to switch brainwaves to this is a drama film and Dylan is not the main character to try to actually enjoy it. But it's 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 a cringe conversation piece movie because of the plot. You, you know, you, you we watch these videos all the time by these white ladies going apeshit about various victim this and oh, she threw something at me. No, ma'am, she didn't throw anything at you. We There's literally cell phone video of you having a breakdown and claiming that something happened when it didn't because we all saw that it didn't. So stop playing victim. It's, it's, it's a weird film. It's a weird film. Why is, why is she the main character? I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I, I do appreciate all the behind the scenes reels we've seen recently. I, I, I appreciate all the aspects of, but he did a lot of work to get this movie together. The movie was shot very well. It was put together very well. Cinematography was very well done. I have no issues with that. I just have an issue with the plot. I, I, I can't champion this film because we see it all the time, you know, and I say this a lot with certain pieces, but you watch film, you watch TV, something like that to escape because real life is horrible and you need an escape. And to have that escape be a reflection of real life, which is horrible, it doesn't make you feel 
okay. You don't feel okay. You're not okay. With all the puns coming back to the movie. I, I don't know, man. It was, it, was, it was a movie. I'm never going to watch it again. It was there. It's a conversation piece. You're supposed to have a conversation about what happened within the film. But again, I don't want to because we see it all the time anyway. All these people claim to be victims that are clearly not victims because we have the video evidence proving not. It, it, it's, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. I, I don't know what else to say. On to the next review. Which mahalo.